Hello, today we would be doing our textbook Flamingo and from that uh, the prose part of it and uh, from the prose part we would be doing chapter number 2 Lost Spring by Anise Young and uh, uh, it is a very very poignant story. It is a story which comes true from the soil of India from the real conditions of uh, uh, children in India, poor children who, have, who are deprived of their childhood and uh, because of uh, the poverty and because of the ignorance of their parents, they really have to suffer and uh, that is why the title of the chapter is Lost Spring and uh, let us see what we have in this chapter. So, uh, first of all, chapter number 2, Law Spring. It is an extract from the book by the author and the name of the author is Anise Jung as I have already told you uh, and the name of the book is also lost spring so an extract means a small portion it is only a part so the whole book obviously uh, deals with uh, many stories and out of that in this chapter you have two small stories under the title uh, lost spring and uh, as we are going to do this uh, now we must first discuss the significance of the title of this chapter uh, here the word spring is so important spring means the best part of the year uh, the best weather the beautiful flowers and you know everything so green and beautiful uh, so that can be called this season can be called the spring of the uh, uh, the best part of the year the spring of the year and if we are talking of life the best part of life is childhood and so the author compares spring season with childhood and uh, if you have understood the meaning of spring uh, you would uh, definitely understand the meaning of lost spring because here she is talking of childhood which has been lost and it has been lost partially due to poverty due to impoverishment of the conditions in which children live because we are talking of spring we are talking of children so the childhood of so many children is lost because they have to work they cannot enjoy their life they cannot go to school take education and live like children should live so this is the significance of the title the lost spring and as we move on with the story you must remember that the author clearly divides this story into two sub stories and uh, since they are two sub stories there are two protagonists also two main characters and the first story has the character of Sahib and the other story has the character of Mukesh and both of them are children. So two young boys and two different stories but it is under the same heading because both the children are for, from both the children are from very poor background so they come from deprived background and they sacrifice their childhood so this is the similarity between both the children and yet their backgrounds are very different so first of all we will begin with the story and the subtitle of the first story is um, Sometimes I find 
a rupee in the garbage so this is the subtitle of the first story and as the subtitle would tell us we are dealing with a rag picker who is a rag picker a, a person who collects garbage and finds things which are of use to him so that uh, he or she can sell that stuff and earn whatever little money uh, can be earned so it is a um, it is a livelihood for so many poor children so many poor people and this is a story of a rag picker whose name is sahib uh, he is a young boy and the author meets him uh, when he is out collecting garbage along with other boys so she the author who is a lady the author meets him she sees him so many times around collecting garbage and many other boys of his age are also with him at that time and she has seen him so many times that she starts talking to these boys and uh, trying to no their background and their uh, history uh, from where have they come where do they stay how they have uh, come to become rag pickers so this lady she has some direct discussions with these young boys out of these young boys there is this one boy whose name is sahib as we have uh, as i've already told you he is the protagonist of our first story and his full name is sahib e alam which means lord of the universe so the name is such a powerful beautiful name and his conditions his conditions are absolutely opposite so he has a name which is fit for a king and uh, uh, unfortunately his destiny is not that of a king he is like a poor beggar because he is scouring through garbage just to earn a few rupees he his background what is his background and that of the other children uh, that they are children of bangladeshi refugees i'm sorry they are children of bangladeshi refugees who had come to india and then settled here and stayed back illegally after the war of 1971 so after the war indo pakistan war of 1971 many many bangladeshi refugees came and settled in india some went back and many stayed back illegally they are not legal citizens of india definitely not they have no rights they have no privileges that this country can give them and yet they are living here and their children are born here and they are surviving surviving as rag pickers many of them hundreds thousands of them are surviving as rag pickers and uh, they stay at seema puri in delhi so this is the area where they you can find it is basically a slum area very very impoverished area of delhi where these bangladeshi refugees live in small hutments they are poor poor hutments with tin roofs and there is no sewage and there is no drainage system they are living in filthy conditions or there is not even any running water uh, that they have so basically no facilities uh, they have they have no basic rights as citizens of india the only thing that they have they only have 
uh, ration cards and we all know what ration cards are ration cards so that they are eligible to vote so this is the whole key so the whole politician uh, politics thing comes here because the politicians provide them with ration cards no facilities they have no facilities the only thing that they have is ration cards so that ultimately they can vote so uh, the politicians exploit them for votes and after they have got their votes after the elections are over we all know how things are things are remain the same all the promises are broken the people